President Biden is uh, really battling right now uh, with with Joe Manchin. Joe Manchin could really upend his presidency. Maybe that's what he wants. I don't know. Uh, but the bipartisan infrastructure bill, Pelosi now has agreed to hold a floor vote on this. So she will, in fact, hold a floor vote on the bipartisan $1 trillion infrastructure bill by September 27th. Okay, so that's the first part. This will be happening while Democrats are still trying to fight. They're fighting it with each other over the reconciliation bill. I know it gets complicated here, guys. Remember that the f first infrastructure bill was the roads and bridges bill. That was the $1 trillion deal, right? This other one is the $3.5 trillion human infrastructure package, right? Which is Medicare, Medicaid, healthcare spending, all of that, and raising taxes. It has dental, it has vision that, pres uh, that Bernie Sanders wants in there. Well, Pelosi and House Democratic leaders right now are pushing to get the reconciliation package through the Budget Committee by that date, September 27th. But we're not sure at this point that that's even doable. They don't even get back from break until the 20th. I mean, they're back, like, I mean, really? <laughs> back on the 20th? Yeah, I love yeah, how most of America funny. goes back after Labor Day, but they're, they're, they're back after the 20th. And they've been off all August, by the way. Well, and remember, they were like, there was such a crisis that they called them all back and they mm -hmm. did nothing and then left again. Yeah. <laughs> like, we're back. We're ready to do something here. But Nancy's uh, like, look. We're calling them all back. You guys get back in here. We're going to fix this. And then they get in there. Oh, we're not fixing it. Sorry. Yeah. Psych. We're not. We're not doing this. So we'll never underestimate Nancy Pelosi's power on this stuff. You know, her ability to deliver on this stuff. She's done it before. So don't underestimate this woman. I'm telling you. Love her, hate her, whatever you do. I don't care. But don't underestimate this woman. But it's also don't don't forget. We won't know what's in it until it passes. Like she said, we got to pass the health care bill until we so we can figure out what's in it. <laughs> I saw Linda in the chat a few minutes ago, Linda Evans saying, you know, hey, Clayton, you know, she she has universal basic in care, uh, uh, universal basic income hidden in this bill. Um, I don't know how you know that, Linda. I mean, I with all due respect, there's no we've not seen any draft of this thing yet at all. And they yeah, just and they're not going to. They're not no. going to hide that. <laughs> no. And th th that, if that's in there, they're going to let us know about it, by the way. Yeah. Republicans uh, would be. Yeah. They'd be up, up in arms about it. Also, yeah. I should mention that they just started marking up the bill like yes, uh, yesterday or today. I think they start marking up the bill today. So we don't even have like they haven't even gone back and forth deciding what's in, what's out yet. So um again linda i love you with all due respect but i i don't think that's in there <laughs> i'm like if it is i'd love to know where you you heard this from is it some youtuber because it's not true kind of um, on uh in the chat is saying i'm a member clayton and i did listen to what you were saying about the financial armageddon what i'm curious about is that is that going to affect people's disability payments i know pensions are gone well, yeah. I mean, Social Security disability. I mean, if Social Security is gone and we default, where do we get the money to pay for Social Security? There's no money, right? If the Social Security Trust Fund is... I'm telling you what they will raid first. What they always raid first is the stuff that will benefit you. So, yes. Exactly. Social Security disability benefits? Yes, absolutely. Would be raided first. Veterans benefits? Yes. They're going to pay back Wall Street first like they always do. So back to the stimulus side, Pelosi you know, has a tough challenge right now uh, and for the rest of her leadership team to try to get this done. Progressives could face a key question here. Do they vote for the bipartisan infrastructure bill if the reconciliation package isn't ready yet? You know, we've heard from AOC and others that have said like, we're not going to vote for that one over there until this one's uh, like, until we know we're officially getting to vote on this one, because we've had the rug pulled out from under us before where well, you guys have passed these legislations for these, for wall street. And then you promise us the next one's going to help the people. And then it never comes. That's my, what I would do is I would be like, okay, so if that's how it's going to be, you want this bill, then let's move the one for the people to the front because they're hurting right now. These businesses are not. Uh, infrastructure, if it's as bad as it is, it can wait another, since it's a 10 year plan anyway, it can wait a little bit. Let's get the people help. Uh, and so if that people bill's not, uh, proposed first, I'm not voting on anything. That's what yeah. I would do. Yeah. I I, agree. I mean, look what mansion Manchin's not afraid to, to put himself out there and, and do this. So why is the yeah. squad always scared? 
Donald Ford in our chat says, uh, honest question, why do you think the government would ever be able to properly enact UBI? I think it would all go to Wall Street and big banks. Well, I, look, I think it's enormously popular, you know, and I think the, the sad thing is that we are ruled by the minority in this country, right? You can lose the, you can literally lose, uh, not get 3 million votes, Donald Trump, and still become a president of the United States. Like lose the popular vote, right? 3, mil, 3 million votes to Hillary Clinton, you still become president. Like the voice of the minority in this country, like overwhelmingly, this country wants universal basic income. Overwhelmingly, this country wants vaccines. Overwhelmingly, we want safety at our schools for our children. Like overwhelmingly, and yet the minority, and overwhelmingly, we want women's rights in this country, right? Overwhelmingly, we want it to be easier to vote in this country, not harder. And who ends up winning? These like crackpot legislators that end up getting inst installed in, into these into these state governments by Wall Street. So the minority runs the show, even despite the fact that the majority wants wants major change in this country. Well, and, and out of all the programs that we have, Social Security and Medicare and stuff, that's actually a pretty efficient system. I mean, they continue to steal from it uh, and and short people, but it's a pretty efficient system for getting money out to people. Yeah, it is. And guess what? It's wildly popular. You know, try to, what is it called? The third rail of politics? Like, you know, you do not touch Social Security. Like, if you yeah. want to lose an election, if you're a Republican, you mention that you're going to slash Social Security. And they've learned their lesson. They don't talk about it now. They just do it surreptitiously. Right? They do it quietly. Till it goes bankrupt. They don't actually mention it when they're campaigning anymore. They say that they're going to protect Social Security. But then when they get elected, they go in there and they try to gut it. That's what they do. So progressives, you know, you've got progressives on all of this. They've sought to like link these two bills in order to make sure that like Democratic moderates like Manchin don't get their favorite uh, infrastructure bill approved and then turn right around and vote against this thing. Right. Well, you know, and I just want to turn point around out really quick. Yeah, go ahead. Well, I was going to point out really quick. Uh, Biden has been trying to cut Social Security for 40 years. Oh, yeah, he has. Well, cut it, I should say, extend, cut it and also increase the uh, retirement age. Yeah. Yeah, so two pronged, but now he's now he's not in favor of gutting it though. Right now, now right. that he's president, or so right. he says, right? But Manchin, by the way, you know he—that's why progressives are saying we want to link these two because we don't want suddenly them to turn around and vote against the reconciliation package. They have to do it in timing, and so the timing here is going to be very dicey for progressives and all of this right now. Um, and also we, we did hear from, uh, Senator Schumer, uh, rejecting Joe Manchin's call for a pause on the Biden plan. Uh, he rejected a call for Democrats to hit a pause on president Biden's spending plan saying that we're sticking to this ambitious timeline. We're going full speed ahead. He said, we want to keep going forward. We think getting this is getting done is important. And of course, that's Joe Manchin wrote in that opinion piece the other day that he thinks we need to take a pause right now. We're spending too much money and we can't afford to do that. Okay, but it's okay for us to spend trillions of dollars on war, but when it comes to helping the American people, we need to pause. And by the way, I'm painting a picture for you with all of this, what's going on right now in the economy and the troubling signs that we're seeing in the economy and this surge in, this, in coronavirus and Delta virus cases right now. It's bad. It's bad. Um, and you have teachers dying in schools because, you know, school board says you know you don't have to wear masks so the kid you know the kids don't wear masks and they asymptomatic bringing covid in the schools two teachers have now died in texas so we're not out of the woods on this at all 300 percent increase in covid cases this week at the same time last year it was 300 percent less last year in 2020 now 2021 and it's this bad so we are not out of the woods yet joe manchin i got news for you so we'll see. Democrats are also expected to take up the, the you know, this, this $1 trillion bill by September 27th. That's what Nancy Pelosi wants to do. They've got a lot of balls in the air right now juggling to try to get this thing through. Question I've got for you in the chat, let me know, is do you think they're going to get this done in time? Do you think you'll, you'll you know, get that first package uh, voted on by the 27th? And then do you think we'll also get the, the $3.5 trillion package signed for very shortly thereafter? Let me know in the chat. 
what you think is going to happen. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. You can also become a channel member by going to morninginvest.com slash join, where you can stick it to the mainstream media and support independent journalism. We're able to bring you the stories that you won't see on any of the major billionaire-backed networks. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time, everyone.